vulcanized dry suits come in many colors, styles, and designs. Hand mixers combine natural rubber and synthetic polymers. A heavy-duty mixer prepares 227 kilogram, 500 pound batches of composite rubber. After mixing, a mill produces a manageable strip of rubber. Rubber goes through stringent performance testing before it goes in a dry suit. High pressure and heat bring three layers of rubber together with a hard-wearing stretch nylon fabric lining. Face rollers produce a rubber sheet the optimum thickness for puncture resistance, comfort, and flexibility. Workers cut rolls of rubber into rough lengths and stack them six layers deep. Roller dies cut patterns to ensure precision cuts. Now the suit begins to take shape. A four-needle system stitches the suit panels together with fabric tape for smoothness. Uncured rubber tape strengthens the seams. Workers add reinforcements in high wear areas such as shoulders, wrists, knees, legs, and waist. Before vulcanizing the suit, workers add material used to form the boots. The suit goes into an autoclave where the seams fuse to the body rubber. This is the vulcanization process. An hour of high heat and pressure fuses the seams. Workers glue latex rubber wrist seals to the suit. An adjustable neck seal resembling a bellows is also attached by hand. To test the suit for leaks, a technician fills the suits with air and immerses it in a water tank. Each suit comes with its own individual history card documenting its construction and testing. After a visual inspection, Workers pack the suit into a box with various accessories for delivery to dive centers. 